Uh, this video is about the construction of a passive solar water heater. Bread box has uh, shutters and doors that are on it to uh, be reflectors during the day and then, then they close up and help insulate the bread box at night. This is a, a jacuzzi and it, it takes about 50 gallons of water. This is the electric water heater and as you look at it you'll see the pipe that's bent coming down bringing the 220 volts and the two uh, pipes uh, that are in the background. The black one uh, is the one that's bringing in the cold city water into the water heater and the uh, foil wrapped one is the one that takes the hot water out into the house. Water heating is a big use of uh, the electricity because it's an electric water heater. This is the location of where the bread box will be placed. This is on the south side of the house. The house is oriented about 25 degrees off of due south. So we'll have a little turn in the bread box. Solar bread box water heater plan book is by Jeff Tiller and it has the uh, directions and procedures for building the water heater. There are just a couple of modifications that I have made uh, from this because this is based in 1984 and um, so one of the adjustments is PEX tubing is now used instead of the polybutylene and the other is is the uh, shutters on this design in the booklet are uh, at the top and the bottom of the bread box and I have put the shutters in, on the sides of the bread box to make them easier to open and close. Here is uh, the water heater in the box and here it is out of the box. It's a 40 gallon. I've got two of these uh, that'll be the heart of the solar water heater and as you can see the yearly cost estimated about $500. I believe that I will be able to have about 50 to 60 percent of uh, hot water provided by the bread box over the course of a year which would mean um, about $250 to $300 uh, a year in energy cost savings. Uh, as I know of, there's no other way to get uh, a good tank. Uh, you could get a used tank, but you may have some leaks and that may not be worth the, uh, the problems. Here is the tank out of its container of the metal wrap and the foam insulation. It took about an uh, hour and a quarter to get all of this uh, off of it. All right, this is what the framing looks like for the solar water heater. It's about two feet by four feet by six feet. And the back is on the top, and the front is on the concrete below. You see the two tanks, they have been uh, sprayed with a uh, paint that is, allows the absorption of heat, but also uh, helps hold the heat in at night when there is no uh, sun shining on the tanks. Uh, the way this works is that the top of the left tank you'll see a foil pipe coming in and that's the cold water coming in from the house supply and it goes to the bottom of the tank to the left. The hot water in that tank rises to the top of the one on the left and then it goes through the curved pipe you see in the top background and that goes to the bottom of the second tank on the right. And then that tank is uh, heated to a little higher temperature and the water comes to the top of it and that goes up to the top of the far right and that goes the hot water outlet into the house. All of this is uh, PEX tubing and uh, they were uh, painted and foam covered and then wrapped in order to try to keep sunshine uh, off of the pipes. Here is a picture of the uh, pop-off valve going to the outside of the tank and downspouted outward. At the bottom of each tank is a drain valve and this particular uh, style I used were uh, recessed drain valves, they, ha they go into the tank, the valve does about six inches. In other words, there's about six inches of no water 
on the outside so there's no less danger of freezing. Uh, and the valve is actually loaded, located in close to the tank uh, where there's a huge body of water so there's less chance of the water uh, freezing and breaking the pipe. And uh, in the bottom of the uh, box on the inside is a little sensor uh, and you can see the probes on it. It's about a quarter inch above the absolute bottom. It is there and it's hooked up to a system that I have that will shut off the water to uh, the house supply if uh, the sensor is activated. Uh, this is the same sensor that's in other locations in the house. It all runs to a central location where uh, if a, one of the sensors is, uh, is in water, it will turn off the water. This is not a part of this project, but I just used one sensor to run to the bottom of this water heater so I'd know if there was happened to be a leak. Near finished view of it and you can see the uh, drain to the bottom right and you can see the pop off at the top right. Here you can see uh, the glazing that is uh, translucent fiberglass still the pop off at the top and the uh, drain valve at the bottom and the tank overall is an orientation that is due south. The vertical slant is 45 degrees. That uh, makes all the cuts easy and nice. Generally, the vertical cuts are latitude plus 10 degrees. Since I'm at latitude 32 or so, this is uh, 42, so it's pretty close just to a 45 degree cut. A little more finished look, uh, the exterior is painted and I've got up uh, the uh, post on the side to help prop the doors when they come open on the side at the top back you can see the lines going into and out of the house at the bottom you can see a cup of foam insulation to cover a drain valve at the top back you can see the uh, lines so the water from the house into the tank and the hot water going back into the house Here's a temperature gauge that shows you a little bit about the ambient air temperature inside the box. I did not have a way to get the water temperature. Uh, on a good day, this will run up to a, a higher temperature. Now here are the pipes going in. The bottom uh, is a metal conduit pipe that carries an electric current uh, to uh, a heat tape that is on these two three-foot pipes. There's a cold water pipe, the water that goes into the box, and there's a hot water pipe, the, pipe, the water that comes out of the box and into the house that are up there. And so uh, electric current on a heat tape was needed in case of possible freezing of this pipe. So the heat electrical tape is taped to the bottom of the two three foot sections and uh, should the temperature uh, in the water in the pipe drop below 38 degrees, uh, the heat will come on in the tape. It's only about a 40 watt, and it will keep the water from freezing in the pipe. It's just a preventive. The PEX is supposed to be able to expand some, but this uh, eliminates some of the worry in the most vulnerable part where it could freeze over in very cold days. Uh, in between you can see hanging a little uh, brown wire. That's the wire that goes to the sensor. Uh, let it hang just so that you can see that we do have a connection to the sensor to the house. Inside the house is uh, the cold water that goes out, the hot water that comes in, and also you can see uh, the electrical outlet. There's a switch there that runs put to the outlet itself and it, the plug-in uh, goes to the heat tape. Uh, I cut the heat tape and uh, <clears throat> that's the red tape and spliced it with a standard 14 gauge wire at the bottom. You can see the white wiring that goes through the conduit outside to the rest of the heat tape that is underneath the, the piping and uh, so they're, they're soldered together. The white line is the uh, city water going to the water heater and the foam insulation is over the hot water coming from the water heater. I have since uh, covered the cold water and foam insulation as well. And here is the water heater again and the 
black one is the uh, cold water coming from the city, and the wrapped aluminum one, is, aluminum foil one, is the uh, hot water going into the house. With the solar water heater in this system, here's what happens in the uh, black center pipe is coming from the top is hot is the cold water coming from the city and if you go down you'll see the valve is turned perpendicular to stop the flow on down into the water heater down below which will force the water through the horizontal black pipe near the middle of the picture and then it will force the water out into the the valve up there into the uh, water heater outside. Most of the plumbing uh, has shark, shark bite plumbing connections which are very good because I did have uh, PEX tubing coming from the outside with the CVP VC pipe inside and so the two different systems are two different types of gluing together. So the center uh, white uh, pipe going up is taking the cold city water to the, the solar water heater far right the black foam pipe is coming down vertically is the hot water coming from the bread box outside and then it comes on down to the very bottom and then goes on into the tank at the, at the bottom right here is a list of cost it was about sixteen hundred dollars uh, did not skip on anything. Uh, everything is uh, purchased and um, new and done that way. There are other ways to uh, avoid some of these costs, but these are what I had. Tax break, about 30 uh, percent from the feds. Uh, there also will be some from the state. I did not figure that in for this. Here it is during the evening. Uh, now the top white part up there is an extra leftover board. I just put it up, painted it white, made a reflector. The angle can be changed uh, from winter when it hangs a little lower to uh, summer when it is uh, up at 90 degrees. And the spring and fall would be the same setting, somewhere between the lower winter and the higher summer. Here it is open and in business.